most challenging aspects of being a champion is definitely believing in myself and cutting out the self-doubt. Yeah, what a lot of people don't realize is that to be a champion, it's not just being a good fighter and preparing to defend your belts and preparing for a five-round fight. The hardest part about being a champion is learning how to do everything else and not letting the shiny lights and all the material things and wealth get to you. Mom, Dad, I'm going to be a professional cage fighter. I mean, it must have been an unusual reaction. It was sort of a gradual progression. So um, they got used to it? Kind of, yeah. I mean, it was just little things. Like, I remember my dad, um, sort of maybe my mid-teens, wanting to go on a night out and getting the train back with my friends and even just saying, well, you don't know how to defend yourself and you're going to be walking from the city centre to the train station in the dark late at night and I'm just not happy with that. Being a champion has taught me hard work. I can mentally push through and overcome a lot of adversity and obstacles. Ask me a couple years ago if I ever thought I would be in this position and hell no, I would never think so. I actually really think it's going to go to the later rounds, to the championship rounds. And if it doesn't go to the judges, I see a finish coming by way of submission. All these opinionated things that you say about yourself, they go into making this person who can endure pain, who has a very strong self-belief, who has a great system that she's developing in her own self, who wants to test herself. Is this why Kate Jackson fights? Yeah, it's always been me, it's about I started it as a challenge to find out if I could fight. Like, if you could get punched in the face and handle it. Yeah, or if I could, you know, what happened, basically what happens if I punch someone in the face as, you know, hard as I can, does it work? I think it's really important, whether you're a fighter or not, to put yourself in uncomfortable situations and scenarios because, you know, that's where you grow the most. You experience kind of a different level of spirituality. They give me a lot of strength, not just for the ceremonial factor, but also for the people that are involved in them. I call them my sweat family. I started doing this a few years ago, and I thought I've, I found that I was kind of missing an element in this journey of fighting. I, I didn't know what it was, but I realized that I was missing this element of spirituality. Once I found them and I found this beautiful ceremony, then it just felt like everything came together. I've fought abroad a lot and in my opponent's sort of hometowns, home countries. I wouldn't say it's a massive issue for me. I think it also adds pressure to her as well. So we're in old Spitalfields Market. I want to ask you about Elima. Obviously, she's undefeated. She's very good at implementing the game that she wants. She wants her fights on the ground, and she's very good at getting them there. The belt, and the title, and the fight is, is hers to lose. I'm coming in to, you know, to try and beat her, to try and take that away from her. Yeah. And there's got to be horrendous amount of pressure involved in holding the title for that long and knowing people are gunning for you and retaining the title. I've got the skill set that if I, you know, perform to my absolute best, if I hold it all together, I should be able to come away with the win. It's such an amazing opportunity, one I've been working towards for years. And being able to go from sort of here, London, UK, all the way over to Hawaii, by California as well. It's just, yeah, amazing. And I'm going to go over there and put on the best fight I possibly can. Hopefully it'll be entertaining and bring the belt home. Heavy on top, vicious with the ground and pound, and a winner. To me, the definition of the word champion is doing what I need to do whether I want to do it or not. platform so in order to be a true champion I need to use it all for good and for the benefit of others.
My message to Alima Lee McFarlane is fairly simple. I mean, we're both going to go in there and try and smash each other's faces in, in a nutshell, and only one of us is going to succeed, and I plan for it to be me. Hey Jackson, I have mad respect for you for taking this fight in my hometown, but there's no way that I'm going to let you come into these islands and take my belt. 